sir. Let's go. What's up, guys? You already know what time it is, man. We're back with another episode of The Maki Show, and we're going to have a good conversation, man. You already know how we do it. Every time we come in here, we have good dialogue, man, based off of real-life experiences. You already know that I'm going to serve good game. So shout out to everyone that's tapping in. As you guys come in, if you like the face you see and the voice you're hearing, make sure you tap the follow and the bell button. That way you guys can be subscribed and notified to everything that I got going forward, man. Our messages are predicated upon positivity, not destruction. So, but one thing's for sure, I need everybody to start double tapping the screen because I have a topic at hand that I would like to discuss, but I can't do that until we get to 2K likes, man. So I need everybody to tap the like button. Also, let me know your city, your state, and or your country. I always find it quite interesting how we're able to communicate from several coordinates around the world, man. So with that being said, shout out to everybody that's in the building. We're going to do it the way that we do it, and we're only going to focus on that. So yeah, let's go. What's up, Skylar? Good to see you up in there. Welcome back. Minnesota, shout out to Minnesota. Make sure you tap that follow on that bell button, Mars. Shout out to Minnesota. But yeah, man, everybody double tap that like button and also tap the follow on the bell button. Now you guys are finding me because of the algorithm. There's no sure way that you'll find me again. And in any case, my live randomly restarts. So tap the follow on the bell button. I'll literally shout out your follow along with your username. That's the best way to get some free clout. So with that being said, let's go, man. And everybody double tap that screen, you know. We got to get them likes up. I got a message that I would like to give to the people, you know. But if it can't, it can't be released until it's wanted. And when it's wanted, I will grant it. But that's the way that I look at it. Shout out to Miami. Miami is like my second, second, second. It's like my second home. I be in Broward County all the time. I was in Fort Lauderdale not too long ago. I don't get how you're so fine, to be honest. I won't go like this, but I appreciate it. Everybody, double tap that screen. Um, if we don't get to 1K likes within the next minute, I'm turning off the comment section. You know, if you guys are gonna sit around and spectate, I'd rather tell you this: become a part of it or depart from it. You know, I don't want any energy that doesn't want to be here. You know, that's just the way that I look at it. So. With that being said, man, we're going to keep getting bigger and bigger because we focus on serving the game that needs to be served and given to the people. We don't focus on the things that we can't control because the things that we can't control are out of our hands. They might come back one day, but it's not up to us to chase. It's just to replace. You know what I'm saying? Chase and replace. You know, match and mirror. That's the way that we look at situations. So, yeah, man, everybody keep double tapping that like button and let's get these likes up. What's up, Blue Ivory? I like your username. Make sure you tap that follow on that bell button. I like your username. I would like to see your name pop up in my notifications a lot more. Yeah, 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 yeah. So with that being said, shout out to Skylar for sharing the live. Make sure you guys all tap that like button. Let's get these notifications going and flowing and growing, man. That way we can get to our message. I got a good message. And the message that I'm going to be speaking on in this episode is how jealousy is in jokes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, homie. Uh, jealousy is in jokes. So I would like to discuss that, but I can't do that. What's up, Claire Robinson? Oh, I like your name, too. Make sure you tap the follow on the bell button. Hey, bro, I have a problem getting up in the a.m. Have any advice? You seem to be always on. Normally, I don't do this outside of um, the diamonds and stuff like that. But just because you've been here for a while and you're an excellent mod, um, the advice that I would give you. Yo, what's up? What's up, Dasmin? Hey, make sure you got all tap the follow on the bell button. I'm seeing a lot of comments, but not a lot of follow notifications. So with that being said, if I don't start seeing follow notifications, you know, I'm not going to respond to certain comments, you know, to have a conversation. I love your hair. Hey, I love your username. We have something in common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We both love something about each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I appreciate it. But anyways, we're not. Um, I'll discuss that after I get to the game. So remind me about it and I, I will give you advice on that. I promise. Shout out to Dasmin S for the follow. Much love and appreciation. Thank you so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would love to see it. Hey, what's up, Amethyst? Uh, none day. I don't know how to say your name all the way, but I just want to say I like the first part of your name. You should tap the follow on the bell button. Shout out to all my ladies that come in here. You so smooth with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm prolific with the way that I word things. It's just, a, it's just exactly how I feel, though. I don't sit around and try to rehearse uh, or coerce people. I just speak the way that I speak, you know? And that's why I see individuals that come in here that tend to be males all the time that are envious and jealous and they really wish that they could tell me I'm hot, you know, but that would expose what side they're on, but they don't know how to say it. So they try to get my attention by say, by saying negative things. But when you understand the psych, when you understand the psychology of people and you're able to analyze the wording, you understand the agenda beneath the words. <laughs> so yeah, jealousy is within the jokes. Looking for advice for a tattoo artist. Uh, I don't have any advice for you because I don't get tattoos. <laughs> I have no tattoos. How was your day? My day was very, very productive. Also, I had a, I learned a hard lesson. Uh, but other than that, it was a good day. You know, I feel like every day that you learn something is a blessing. 
So with that being said, man, we need 400 more likes and I can get to my message. Shout out to all the lovely ladies in here, man. I love one thing about Maki is he loves his ladies you see you see a lot of boys not men you see a lot of boys sitting around saying oh man these girls are this these girls are that I love my ladies so the more that y'all want to complain yeah 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 I can go to the other side and leave all the ladies for me I'm pretty sure they want to hop on my ship and sail the sea so I ain't tripping we can we can sail the seven seas together baby I have a tattoo on my wrist that's what's up hey bro I'm a little sad can I chill for a while dude you're more than welcome to be here you're more than welcome to be here I'm so proud of you thank you Okay, so we're at 2K likes, so I need all of my moderators to make sure you guys regulate the chat, keep the negativity out, um, have it leaving as soon as it came. You know, you already know how to do it. I don't even need to tell you guys at this point. But jealousy isn't jokes, okay? So you'll have individuals in your circle that they will make jokes about things that you take serious, right? And they'll say, I'm just playing, man, and it's just tough love. No, 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 no. What you guys have to understand is when people always want to joke around, about things that you take seriously, it's because they are jealous of you. When you have successes, when they tell you, but you didn't do this, but you didn't do that, or don't forget about me. You see, when people start saying things like that, you have to identify, you have to identify that as what it is. It's complete jealousy because why not support in the first place? Why do you feel like it's a necessity? It's necessary to when your friend makes strides in their life that you have to say hey but you didn't do this but hey man this person did that and look at you looking like this and looking like that and you ain't got this and you ain't got that guys oh oh un why'd you why'd you mute clear why'd you mute clear un unmute clear but when you have situations like this right when people are making jokes about your successes when people are making jokes about your trauma and so many other things this is because they're jealous they're envious and they really don't like you so what you guys need to understand is when you have individuals that are exemplifying this type of behavior, you need to understand, okay, this is what side they're on. You see, life is all, uh, life is all about identifying what side people are on. Are they on the supportive side or are they, are they on the jealousy side? And when you're able to identify that, you need to know, you know that you need to remove them from your lives. I've had so many individuals like this who they had lighthearted jokes and I just took it as, yeah, that's the homie. You just being funny, this and that. And then later on, a certain situation will sur uh, surface and now all of a sudden they're saying, oh, but you're this, but you never did that, but you never did this. And it's basically all those jokes that they used to say, but to an extreme level because now they're showing their cards. You see, when people decide to show their cards... That's because they decided to. But you're ever playing cards and the homie gets a twist in his hand like this a little bit. And you can kind of start to see the cards in their hands. These are social cues. And these are moments for your mind to understand that, hey, that's what they have in their hand. And now that I know that they have what they have in their hand, I need to end the game. And the way that you can end the game in a realistic aspect is removing them from your circle because they do not belong there. They should be supporting you, not making jokes. So what I'll say to you guys, man, is understand that there's a lot of jealousy and envy in jokes. A joke here and there is cool, but you got to understand what the joke is directed to and the timely, the timeliness of it. Cut those types of people off. If they're not supportive, they're destructive and you do not need to let them consume your energy or waste your time. So I'm going to read the comments for the next 45 seconds. If you guys would like to extend the episode, I need to see 100 diamonds in the next 45 seconds. If not, that's completely fine, but I'm going to go and summarize this episode. But I do have to give my boy Renok some advice. And what was it about again, Renok? Uh, comment again if you don't mind. <clears throat> Let me get this wavy star guy up out of here. Ask him questions that no one is even talking about. It's nice to know there's more positive people out here. How many friends you got? That's none of your business. Sorry to intrude. Asking random people for a report doing for school. I don't, I don't care about your report for school. You came in here and didn't follow and started talking about you, so I could care less. Yep. Y'all be thinking I'm going to say something, but y'all don't know what I'm going to say. Hey, it was my birthday yesterday. Um, Man, you ain't tapped to follow or nothing, so I could care less about your birthday. Square of business. It was about getting up on time, bro. Hey, shout out to Kiari for coming in clutch with the, uh, how many diamonds was that? 85. If we get 15 more, you guys will get an um, extended live. But um, getting up on time. So the way that I do it, because this is actually a problem that I deal with still to this day. Um, it's gotten to the point where I said, man, 
I necessarily sometimes can't control when I get up. So when I do get up, I'm going to get productive. But if you have things that you have to attend at certain times, this can become a problem. So what I would recommend to you is to download an app called Alarmy, right? Now on this app, you set your alarm like normal and you can choose your sound, but they have different missions that you have to complete before you turn the alarm off. For instance, they have math problems that you have to solve and literally your phone will not stop beeping and will not do anything unless you turn the phone off or you solve the math problems. And what you need to do is I don't do that when I do the shake. So when my alarm goes off, I have three separate alarms, each 15 minutes away from each other, right? And when that alarm goes off, it's on the other side of my room. So I have to actively get up and go grab my phone and I'll put it to a hundred shakes, a hundred shakes. Dang, you got to shake your phone. It literally looks like I'm doing something else with my, <laughs> it looks like I'm doing something else because I have to grab my phone and shake it a hundred times and you can set the level of difficulty for the shake. So download the alarm app, set three alarms. Um, in short proximity of when you want to wake up, put your phone across the room on the charger, put it on um, do not disturb mode and, and customize your do not disturb mode for um, for and let for emergency contacts to be able to contact you through it. But other than that, every other app needs to be excluded from it except for Alarmy and your emergency contacts. And I promise you that it will make you get out of bed. And by the time the third alarm goes off, it's going to consciously click in your head. Hey, I have something to do. I need to get up. Because I'm a deep sleeper. But after that third alarm, you start realizing, oh, I need to get up. You know? So that's what I would tell you. I needed that. I need to do that. Yeah, download the app, guys. Shout out to Kiari for the five roses and the four perfumes. How many diamonds is that? It still says 85. Why? You seem to always be on schedule. I try my best to. You know, nothing's perfect, but that's what I do. Yeah, download that app. Thanks for the game, bro. No problem. No problem. What's it called? It's called Alarmy. A-L-A-R-M-Y. That's what it's called. Alarm me, guys. Uh, I was giving people a app that they can help, uh, that they can that can help wake them up and get up on time. Me being a light sleeper, crying while shaking my yeah yeah. See, I feel bad for light sleepers, man. I don't like being like in the same household with light sleepers because I can't even like talk loud or turn the TV up without them waking up and say, "Hey, you did that now, man." I'm like, bruh, bruh. But yeah, with that being said, man, I don't see any more diamonds coming through. So it was an amazing episode. Thank you guys for your contributions. Make sure you tap the follow on the bell button if you haven't already. If you'd like to talk outside of here, DM me on Instagram. We can go from there. And until next time, see ya. <laughs>